Hello Taurus, this is Leonard with Lingonberry Tea Tarot and I'm doing your tarot reading for the mid-month of January. And it looks like there's some um, uh, few changes in your mid-month, so there might be some healthcare changes. Um, but don't forget to volunteer whenever you can. Um, and unlock the magic within with the Magic Guardian. And grow from your current situation and connect with your hidden, hidden child, your inner child for hidden depths. So whatever is going on in your inner child, it may bring out some hidden features in your uh, mid month. So connect with your inner child, and it may help with some of these other things. But if you have any healthcare issues, I would go ahead and get them checked out. Okay. So I'm using the Druidcraft Tarot again to do a block of six. So let's see what pops out. Okay, Taurus mid-month from the 20th through the 31st. So you're going to be doing some decisions in your life with the Two of Wands. And there's going to be some sort of challenges in your life with the Seven of Wands here. Um, there might be a few people, but you're also getting the Ace of Cups. So if you're looking to have love in your life, this might be the opportunity to go out and find it. And the Ace of Swords is here telling you their truth. So a lot of the bullshit is going to be cut out of your life. And you may be dealing with a King of Pentacles. Because the world is bringing them around and you're going to have some sort of devil moment because you're going to be potentially drinking a little bit too much, especially with the Three of Cups here. But um, if you are, try not to do it too much. But... Um, we do have Justice here, along with the Princess of Wands, so there may be a fire sign who's approaching you with this Ace of Cups and um, Ace of Swords. Because the moon is illuminating that they have probably been following you. It might be somebody that you've been dealing with before, because we have the wheel here. And there's going to be a lot of communication with the Eight of Wands. And we also have the Prince of Wands at the bottom, so it definitely is somebody who is wanting to have a very nice fling with you. And it might be a fire sign. Could also be Capricorn or um, Libra. But let's go ahead and use the Universal Tarot deck, um, Celtic Tarot deck, and see what we can pull out for clarification. So we have the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Because you're tired of waiting for your ships to come in, so... You're trying to decide on how you're going to move forward in your next decision in your life. So I the Seven of Wands here.
Because you're walking away from a situation that the world previously brought to you. Because the moon is illuminating that they probably aren't moving forward. And we have the King of Cups here. So you may be, have been dealing with a water sign who has commitment issues, probably. Um, but let's take a look at the Ace of Cups. What's the Ace of Cups bringing in? Okay, the Two of Swords wanted to pop out. The Ace of Cups is bringing in your wish with the star and the Empress. So you are getting your wish to be with an Empress. So why is the Ace of Swords here? The Ace of Swords is ending you holding on to your feelings with this person. That or holding on to your finances. Could be both. So why is the King of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles might be lusting after you. And again, it could be also Capricorn or Libra because we have Justice here and the Devil here twice. Or they could just have both those traits in one person. So why is the world here? Getting that they might be a little kinky. So. The world is coming in, bringing you this person, but you have your guard up a little bit with the Seven of Wands because you, because the world brought to you somebody previously who was pretty much a shut in. Um, but yeah, the tower is ending that feeling for you because this person is definitely coming in as a knight of cups uh, very passionate very loving very kind they've had their heart broken as well but they see you as their son and their ten of cups and their ten of pentacles so this might be a good match uh, with this person. Um, but let's go ahead and see if there's any other advice for, for you. Okay. So you're getting your wish with the Knight of Cups coming in, bringing you this offer. You're going to have your guard up, but it's possibly somebody from your past. They definitely see you as their Ten of Pentacles, their love of their life with the Ace of Cups. And the Knight of Pentacles is what they are offering you. They are offering you what they have, wholeheartedly. And it's going to 
give you some time to wait though. But the tower is bringing this change to you in your life. Because you're moving away, you're making a fated decision to have everything under the sun. But that's your reading, Taurus, and I hope you liked it. And if you do, please like, comment, share, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you again next time. Laters.